Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sergi and for today's tutorial, I am going to discuss some common statistical treatment you could use in handling your quantitative data. So class, why it is important for you to know the statistical treatment you need to employ in your quantitative data? It is a prerequisite for you as a researcher to determine what statistical treatment you need to use in order for you to analyze carefully what the numbers in your gathered data speaks about. It will help you later in interpreting the results you have for you to come up a discussion out of it. But, before proceeding to the specific statistical treatment you can use in analyzing your data, you need first to determine what type of statistical test your study is into. Usually, in your statement of the problem in Chapter 1, you can encounter questions looking for significant difference and or significant relationship. Basically, you really need to know the difference between these two types of tests. So, what are these two types of statistical tests you need to be particular of? These are the following. Test of relationship and test of difference. So class, this is just so easy. You know that statistical tests are used in hypothesis testing. So, you will be using a test of relationship, okay? Take no test of relationship when you need to determine whether a predictor variable or an independent variable has a statistically significant relationship or naabasay kalabutan or association with an outcome variable or the independent variable. Whereas, you will be using a test of difference. Okay, so test of difference when you need to estimate the difference, usually the means, between two or more groups. Okay, so now let's have a test. So what you're going to do is to help me determine whether the test should be a relationship or difference. So let us start with number one, study habits and academic performance. Is it a test of relationship or a test of difference? The answer is... Test of relationship. Since we are determining whether the study habits of the students is associated with their academic performances. Next is... Describing the job performance employees by gender. Is it a test of relationship or difference? The answer is... Ta -da! Test of difference. Since we are estimating the difference of the computed means of the job performance of male versus female. Next is family income and participation of women. Is it a test of relationship or difference? The answer is we could have performed a test of relationship or difference in this particular case. So we can look into the relationship between income and participation. At the same time, we can estimate the difference of their participation when grouped by income. So it could be a test of relationship or a test of difference. Okay, so next is participation of farmers in governance by cities. Is it a test of relationship or difference? The answer is test of difference. Since we are estimating the difference of the computed means of their level of participation when analyzed by cities. Last is 
advertisement cost and level of sales is it a test of the relationship or difference the answer is yes test of relationship since we are determining whether the advertisement cost of the company has something to do with the achieved level of sales now since we are okay already in identifying whether a test should be a test of relationship or a test of difference let us now proceed in the specific statistical treatment we can use in each test let us start with the test of difference there are two common statistical tests we can use if we are into comparison of means or if we want to look for the difference between the means of variables and these are as follows. So, first is the paired t-test. So, this is used when each observation in one group is paired with a related observation on the other group. For example, do Panaboans spend more money on movies in January or in February? Where each respondent is asked about their January and their February spending. So if this is the case, comparing means in a situation like this, you should use a paired t-test statistical treatment. Another is the independent t-test. So this is used to test for a difference between two independent groups like males and females. So let's just say you are curious about whether Panabowans and Tagomenos spend a different amount of money per month on movies. So it's practical to ask every Panabowans and Tagomenos about their movie spending. So if you have a case like this, it is appropriate to use independent t-test. Now let's have a test. So what you need to do is to help me classify the following information whether they require a t-test of independent samples or t-test of paired samples. So let us start with pre-test and post-test. So what statistical treatment are we going to use? Are we going to use paired t-test or independent t-test given this information? The answer is t-test of paired sample since we are testing for the difference between these two related variables pre-test and post-test as discussed paired t-test is used when each observation in one group is paired with a related observation on the other group okay let's proceed to the next test how about gender are we going to use paired t-test or independent the answer is t-test of independent sample since we are testing for a difference between two independent groups either male or female now last before and after so if you have a data of before and after what are you going to use in analyzing it are we going to use parity test or independent t-test the answer is t-test of paired sample so let's just say you are having a zumba activity as part of the fitness program thus you get the before weight of the participants then after a month of program implementation you get the after weight of the participants now you would like to know if the program is effective or not. There you can use t-test of paired samples to compare the means of the samples you have. Now let us move on with the test of relationship. There are three common statistical tests we can use if we are going to measure association or relationship between two variables. And these are as follows. So first is the person correlation you are going to use this statistical treatment if you are handling interval or ratio type data okay again if you are handling interval or ratio type of data you need to use person correlation another sperman correlation 
when calculating a correlation coefficient for ordinal data. This time, for ordinal data, you need to select Sperman's technique. Last is the chi-square. You need to use the statistical treatment if you want to test for the strength of the association between two categorical particles. Now, let's have a test. So what you need to do is to classify the following information, whether they require person product moment correlation, Sperman rank order correlation, or chi square. Let us start with number one. Evaluate whether increases in temperature at your production facility are associated with decreasing thickness of your chocolate coating. So is it persons, per man, or chai square? What appropriate statistical treatment we should use? The answer is person product moment correlation since we will be dealing with temperature which is classified as interval type of data. Now another. Is there a significant relationship between voter intent and political party membership? What statistical treatment we should use? Is it person, sperman, or chai square? The answer is chai square. Since we will be dealing with categorical variable, which is political party, and such is classified as nominal type of data. Now last, evaluate whether the order in which employees complete a test exercise is related to the number of months they have been employed. So what statistical treatment should we use? Is it persons per month or child square? The answer is per month wrong order correlation since we will be dealing with order data as classified as ordinal variables that's all for the statistical treatment i hope you learned something today thank you very much for listening and watching my tutorial videos please support me by subscribing and sharing my video tutorials to your friends if you have suggestions for my next vlog tutorial do not hesitate to comment down below god bless you everyone this is sergi until next time